Okay, me and AJ Orton 34 are back with part two of the Ultra Mega Indie Weekend. We're gonna start now with uh, Dragon Gate. There's not, there's, I don't, the full card hasn't really been announced because I think they're gonna put on another match. I doubt them putting four matches on the pay per view, but hey, we'll see. Um, okay, uh, BB Hulk and Masato and <laughs> Masato Shino, Masaki Mukdazuki. Yeah, this match is going to be awesome. Mujizuki, really good match against Yamato and Dragon Gate Infinity. This match is going to be really awesome. BB Hulk, he had a great match. I'm not going to spoil if he lost his hair or not, but he might have. And this match is going to be really good. Well, I don't trust. I personally have not seen much of BB Hulk's title matches on Dragon Gate USA pay-per-view, but I still think this will be the exception to the rule. This is Mukdazuki. He's having a stellar year. So, next we have Brian Danielson versus Shingo. Okay, this is one of those matches that could be five stars because these guys, I've always wanted to see them wrestle, and these are like two of the best wrestlers in the world, and I'm so excited. I'm so pumped for this match. Uh, Shingo and Danielson, they've been building it well. I this match, yeah, this match is going to be on pay-per-view because it's going to be, it will debut after the 90-day no-compete class, but this is this is going to be this incredible, incredible match that I can't wait to see. Another match that I'm personally most, I'm most looking forward to Um which is uh, Kamikaze USA of Yamato, Tozawa, Granakuma, and John Moxie versus Chikara Second Gun of Quackenbo, Jigsaw, and Hollow Wicked, and Masato Yoshino teaming with them. I think this is going to be one of those awesome eight-man tags, like that Chikara showcase match that was at the uh, the first Dragon Gate pay-per-view. Yeah. I think it's yeah, this match looks really good. An eight-man. Yes. But the thing is, I kind of wish it was a six-man of Yoshino, Quack, and Jigsaw, just because I think the six-man fits the Dragon Gate show so good. It does. It fits it better. And, uh, but I, I really don't have that much problems. Also, you know, John Moxley in this, like, half fast paced, high profile eight man <laughs> doesn't really fit. <laughs> but yeah, exactly. It'll still be a great match. And supposedly Dragon Kid is hurt, so this new rookie doy Dragon Kid match. Don't know what they're gonna do. Um, okay, and let's go to Chikara. Chikara Source Rex. This is probably, this show looks. Member Brother One, one of the longest Chikara fans on YouTube, probably the longest, said that this has potential to be the best Chikara show of all time. And this looking at the card, it's hard Chikara to disagree. I mean, look at this. We have a match that I'm really looking forward to, actually, um, with uh, the Colony and Frightmare versus the BDK. Basically, all the male BDK members, except for Delirious, Castanoli, and Aries. This is going to be fun. Frightmare's team in a colony, too. I think this might be the first time that Tursus falls down, which is going to be awesome. It is. I can't... I love the chemistry between Frightmare and Tursus. They had they had very fun encounters at uh, Dead Men Don't Laugh. And I'm really looking forward to this match. Lin Dorado is very underrated. Very good wrestler, in my opinion. And the colony is their usual colony fun. Sarah Del Rey and Daisy Hayes versus Awesome Khan and Raisha Saeed. Oh my goodness, this is going to be the Sarah Duray Awesome Kong match in a tag team, and it's going to be really, really good. Raishi Saeed, finally, I mean, Raishi Saeed, um, <laughs> Melissa, Melissa, finally, going to be one hell of a match. Yes, I think that, like, Emerald Flosion 62 was telling me that he thinks that maybe J Jakar realized that these girls, Del Rey and Kong, didn't get as much time as they could have in Ring of Honor, and they're going to try to do it better. But hey, I personally think this will be the best women's match of any other match on the weekend. Sorry, Ring of Honor. Uh, Drake, Drake Younger and Col Drake Younger and the Osirian Portal versus the Unstable. Yeah, this match, I'm looking forward to Drake Younger and the Osirian Portal team. I think that's the big draw this match. Unstable, I they have that gimmick of being boring workers. I really don't like that gimmick. Yeah, the gimmick sucks, but in, uh, for the two months that uh, Vin Gerard and Stigma did not want to be boring workers, they were very fun to watch, very athletic. I really enjoyed their matches. Will they, will they go back to that just for this match because it's a big, big show? We'll see. I, I can't make any promises on that. But I still think it's going to be, you know, Syrian Portal and Drake Younger. I like that pairing. Next, we get to what's going to be the worst match of the night and coincidentally might be the main event. Eddie Kingston and Tommy Dreamer versus Aries and Castagnoli. Yeah, I have no idea what they're going to do here because obviously the Eddie Kingston and Tommy Dreamer didn't have the best of matches at, the, at that, match, at that uh, show. Yeah. And this could still be a bit better. You could have Eddie Kingston versus Aries and Claudio. So, I mean, this could still be good. It could still be fun, but... You know, I, I still think, and not that this match I think will be bad, I just think it's almost by far going to be the worst match on this show. Yeah, probably, but this is a stack, yeah. stack show. Next we get Fist versus Warriors, but again, uh, Dragon Kid is hurt, so most likely it will be Sima, Gamma, and Mokuzuki, or Sima, Mokuzuki, and Ryo Saito. I think it's going to be a Saito, probably. Yeah. This match looks to be a lot of fun. 
Yeah, like like this is one of the six mans that we've been always talking about. Yeah. Obviously, the other one's a bit better, but still, Fist yes. finally getting that chance to showcase. F- this, this Fist and Osaka Pro. Fist and Osaka Pro was really really good, and I actually asked people on the Chikara message board, and they and most people believe that match is the Chikara match of the year. So I think Chikara realized that, and they're putting Fist against better six man Dragon Gate workers at well better ja- I should say Japan workers, and this will be a lot of fun. Next, we get to the match that most people are looking forward to. And has potential to be the best match of any other match on this entire weekend. Hollow Wicked, Quackenbush, and Jigsaw versus Yoshino, Hulk, and Doi. Yeah, World 1 is so awesome. So fast-paced. This is this is uh, going to resemble a six-man that we saw in our wage and stuff like that. And I'm really, really, really excited. I can't say that enough. I tell you what, this could be uh, high up there on my match of the year list. Same here. I mean, the, uh, I think this could top the Dragon Gate six-man that Dragon Gate did. I think this is going to be this incredible, awesome fun match and I'm really looking forward to it this show this show I think has the has the most stock I should say to be great amazing like I think this show out of all of them like will probably deliver has the best chance to deliver but actually well, actually the show we're probably about to talk about probably has an even better chance the this P- is going to be the show of the year this is going to be better than Death Before Dishonor. I know I'm going to get flack for saying this but 7th anniversary show PWG yes. by the DVD um, let's talk about a match that we're both extremely looking forward to the Young Bucks versus the Cutler Brothers Gorilla Warfare match. Someone's gonna die. Someone's gonna die. The Young Bucks helped train the Cutler Brothers, but I didn't know. But this this just looks like this incredible match. This will be the match where the Cut well, the Young Bucks officially pass the torch to the other team. And I do think this match is gonna be something something special to see. Brian Danielson yeah. versus Roderick Strong. Oh, sorry. You you should go on about that match. The bottom line is if you like the three way TLC at WrestleMania or SummerSlam. You're really, really, really gonna love this match. Three way TLC. Yeah, oh, 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 I know what I know what you're saying. Yeah. Uh Danielson versus Roderick Strong. Oh my goodness. This is awesome. We saw it on the uh, the going away tour for Brian Danielson. Brian Danielson's bringing it in, in his indie dates, and this is gonna be really, really good. This is gonna be a very fun match. Uh Scott Loss retirement match. Scott Loss versus Scorpio Sky. If anybody, if you guys saw Chris Bosch's retirement match between Scorpio Sky, that was an amazing match. And I think it's going to happen one more time with Scott Lost yes. or Scorpio Sky. Scott Lost, I think, will bring everything he can to this match. Apparently, he's a lawyer outside of wrestling, which to me was awesome. How a man can be a lawyer and a professional wrestler. And I do think he'll go all out, bring everything he can to make this match truly special. Will it be like the match of the night? Probably not, but still. Next, we get a very underrated match that most people aren't raving about. Uh, London and Kendrick versus London and Generico versus the Motor City Machine Guns. Oh my goodness! El Generico and the Motor City Machine, Machine Guns, Guns in the same ring that, again. That that I'm I'm so 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 jumpy, so excited for that. I can't wait to see the interactions that Generico is gonna have with the guns. Paul London said he's gonna try to get into his best shape as he can to deliver for the fans, to deliver for these shows, and I truly truly understand think he's gonna bring his A game. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Brandon Bonham versus Brian Cage. Brian Cage is actually pretty good. I've been seeing some of his stuff earlier, and Brandon Monum has yeah. really been bringing it. If you saw that match at Chris Hero, just awesome, awesome. Well, I thought it could have been better, but I, I, most people did think it was awesome. Now we get to the usual openers, Brandon Gatson, Johnny Goodtime, and Candice LeRae versus Malachi Jackson, Ryan Taylor, and Tazawa! I think everybody's excited to see Akira Tazawa and Candice LeRae interact. Oh my god, that's going to be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. The openers for PWG probably been yeah. the best openers of any company. They, no, they are. They're like they're they're guaranteed three and a quarter, three and a half star matches every single show, no matter what. And I'm really looking forward to this. I think these guys are gonna deliver as they usually do, and they're gonna put on a very fun match. Now we get to the main event. Uh, well, what might be the main event? Uh, Chris Hero versus Davey Richards. The first time this has ever happened, I believe. First time this has ever happened. I think this is gonna be this epic match. People want to see this match last year. Davey Richards, as we all know, is at his peak right now. Chris Hero, also, you could probably make the argument, is also at his peak right now. And This this could be a five-star match. I'm I mean, not even lying. Chris, Chris Hero, Hero had the um, an amazing match with Danielson at last year's, uh, not anniversary show, at last year at uh, Guerrero Sans Frontiers in this month of July. So I do think that he and Davey could do the exact same match, if not better. Chris oh. Hero's going to hit Davey Richards really, really hard. Davey Richards is going to get really, really yes. angry. And then they're going to... Beat the shit out of each other, and I'm gonna love it. Um, so yeah, check out all these shows: PWG show in Reseda, Dragon Age show in Philly, Evolve show in Philly. Yeah, ROH yeah. show in the Midwest. ROH show in Collinsville, Chicago, and Louisville. Chikara show in Philly. And so yeah, uh, predictions. Since we have like an extra minute, 
Which of these shows do you think is going to be the best, and which of these shows do you think is going to be the worst? No secret that I think PWG is going to be the best. I think probably the first ROH show that we talked about, the yeah. Bluegrass Brawl, I think that one's going to be the worst. I think the best is either going to be the PWG show, but maybe even the Chikara show, just for the funness, and just I truly think these guys are going to bring it, but I'm not too sure on that, cause, just because I was so excited for Kurt WrestleMania, I thought that car was going to be amazing. And obviously, you know, with people not coming in, I think it was Chuck Taylor. The car had to change around a little. But still, I, I'll still keep my hopes up high because PWG delivered big last year in July. And uh, so that would be Chikar show for me. And for me, the worst shows, I actually think the Evolve show is probably going to be the worst. Of, you know, no offense to the Ring of Honor. While the Evolve show does have Up at Smoke with Siren Portal, Drake Younger, Tozawa, and Danielson Fish. You know, the rest of that card, I, I just don't think those matches will be given that much time. That's just me. Yeah, that's true. But they still have quite a few yeah. more matches. To right. But I mean, yeah, that's true. This was Big Rat 3, 10 with... And you were 34. Please check out all these indie shows. Buy the DVDs. Go to the shows if you can. And we're out. See ya.